Hello and welcome to another video on OpenStreetMap editing. My name is Philip Malice and today I'm going to take you through a little update that I've been doing to the map that I thought might be worth explaining. So some of you may have seen this recent announcement from the City of Melbourne about the little streets within the CBD. They're making some changes to Flinders Lane at Little Collins Street, Little Burke Street and Little Lonsdale Street by reducing the speed limit uh, introducing right-of-way for pedestrians and creating more space uh, by expanding the footpaths onto the actual road carriageway. You can go into the City of Melbourne website and have a look for yourself. Um, there's more information on there about what's going on. But today we're going to be looking at how we actually put this into OpenStreetMap. So if we go back to OpenStreetMap, um, I've already started some of the editing, as you can see. Um, but we're going to pop down to one of these little streets and see how it's tagged at the moment. So let's look at Little Burke Street here. Uh, this at the moment is tagged as a minor unclassified road. So this is from before this Little Streets program was, was introduced. And you can see on here that the tags are a little bit out of date. So other than the fact that it's still tagged as a minor unclassified road, we can see that the speed limit here is 40 kilometers per hour, whereas in that media release we saw it was 20. There aren't any other changes that that I can see that need us to alter any more of these tags. So let's just stick with these two. So instead of being a minor unclassified road, we're going to actually tag this as a shared zone road. This is also known as living streets in Europe and that was what the original tag was called. But the new ID editor update has made this specifically for Australia, which is nice of them. What this means, if we pop over to the OpenStreetMap wiki, is a road with low speed limits uh, friendly for pedestrians, cyclists, and other, other road users. So as you can see, the tag page is highway equals living underscore street, but there are a range of different names for these around the world as it explains in the introduction. There's a long table in this article which helps explain all the different terminology and what it means. Australia's at the top of the list, which is nice. Usually the maximum speed in a shared zone in Australia is 10 kilometers per hour, but as it's noted here, it can vary. But this generally means that people driving have to give way to people walking. So we go back to our map. Um, we've changed this tag to shared zone road, which changes the color into this light gray, and it will render differently on OpenStreetMap as well. Um, the other thing we need to change here is the speed limit. Um, so let's go back down to Little Burke Street and do both of those things. So we've got Little Burke Street here. Um, let's go to, I've already got it up there, but if you type shared zone, it'll come up. And now it's changed the tag. And then if we just go into the speed limit and change that four to a two, and then we're done. And that's that's all the changes we need to do for this. I'm gonna go through and change all of these today, um, but I thought this would be something interesting that is worth looking at because we don't get to do this very often. So thanks very much for watching. Um, hopefully this comes in useful for other people um, if you're mapping any sort of shared zone arrangement. If you're interested in more of these videos, please like and subscribe uh, or get in touch via the comments section in the video below. And as always, if you have any questions at all about mapping or OpenStreetMap, please let me know by my website or just pop a comment in the video below. Thanks again and happy mapping.